Hey everyone, it's Suzanne and I'm back with another video and this video is a little haul that I picked up from Glisten and Glow. She had a St. Patrick's Day trio that was just, I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I picked it up and then I picked up one other. So I have four polishes in this haul, but before we get into it, let me show you what's on my nails. So what's currently on my nails is this polish from Rogue Lacquer and this is called Frontierland and it's just a really, really pretty um, corally orange color with these glowy they really glow i know on my nails it's not showing up on camera but off camera they are stunning and glowy uh pinkish flakes you can kind of see them there and it also has black flakies just a really really pretty polish so let's get into it i'm going to do the uh saint patrick's day trio first so the first one up is called the luck of the irish and this is described as a darker green neon matte cream and it is bright light a bright light black light reflective um i just love the coloring of this green it does go matte which i probably personally won't like but i'll just put a glossy top coat on it and that will solve that but i remember this green just being such a pretty coloring in the swatch pictures so here it is in one coat oh my gosh it's really nice in one coat i mean really short nails um, not even really short nails, any type of nails could, could just do one coat if they wanted to. Um, I'm going to do a second coat. I don't think it really needs it though, but we'll go in with a second coat because that's just going to, you know, make it look more beautiful, I think. So there it is in the second coat. Like I said, I love that green. Like I said, I personally won't love that it goes matte. So I'll just put a glossy top coat on it because that'll make it look like it does right now with a glossy top coat. Um, just because I'm not personally into mattes that much, but if you are, this would be, I think it's very pretty. It would be very pretty matte, but like I said, I'm more of a glossy person, so I would like it glossy, but look at that. Such a pretty green. Oh my gosh. That's just a lovely, lovely green. So this one was Luck of the Irish. Next up, we have Cutest Clover in the Patch, and this is described as a vibrant medium green jelly polish with added hollow micro flakies. This just, this green on this one, I love this green too. I'm going to swatch it right next to the other one so we can see how close they are in coloring. Um, but I just love these two shades of green. I love all greens, but oh my gosh, this is really pretty. So this is definitely not going to be a one coater like the other one. You're going to need two coats, um, but it's really pretty. You could do some type of fun, like little um, combo with these two together, I think. Really pretty. Let's see what it looks like on that second coat. I'm loving these little... Oh my gosh, this is stunning. I'm loving these little hollow flakies in there. Yeah, hollow micro flakes is what she calls them. Oh my gosh, I'm loving those. It's just so pretty. That is going to be such a cute polish. Both of those very, very cute polishes. Love both of those. So this is Cutest Clover in the Patch. And then the last one from that trio is called Kiss Me, I'm Irish. And this is described as a neon orange jelly polish loaded with various sizes of hex glitters and circle neon glitters, neon green glitters. Glitters are black light reflective so that you can kind of see they're definitely green in person the lighting i have on today is kind of like distorting them and making them look um more yellowish or more orangey tone towards the base of the polish but they're definitely green in person some of them do kind of look yellow now that i'm painting this first coat though but in the bottle they definitely look green but i can see where they kind of look yellow so there's that first coat this is definitely another one you're going to want two coats because i am getting um a few like little patchy spots up here and down here but i think a second coat um 
you know, would fix that. So let's go in with our second coat. Again, it would be best if you let them dry. Coats <clears throat> dry between usage, but we don't have time for that right now. Look at that. That is so cute. That's going to be such a cute, fun polish. I probably, probably wouldn't wear all three of these together, but I guess you could. Um, but that orange is going to be such a fun, cute, cute polish. So that is the St. Patrick's Day Trio that was released from Glisten and Glow. Really, really, really cute polishes. Oh my gosh. I think they're all still available on their, her site. They are at the time of me filming this, but I don't know if they will be by the time I release it where everyone can see it. But this one is, again, Kiss Me, I'm Irish. So then I got one other polish. Um, Glisten and Glow was doing like a Stanley, like a Stanley Cup um, collection polishes based on Stanley Cups. And, but this, they were all really pretty, but this one I was like, kept thinking about and I thought, well, I'll get it when I get the trio. So this one is called Ivory Hint. And this is described as a pastel ivory crelly polish loaded with larger particle color shifting shimmers that shift yellow green blue and it is inspired by a stanley tumbler i just thought this one was so pretty on the nails just a very pretty neutral and i love like whitened polishes this one's ivory but i love a good um uh, white polish even though this one is described as ivory but i just thought this was the prettiest one out of that whole collection Oh my gosh, it's it's so hard to see on my swatch wheel because it's white. But um, there were several in that collection that I wanted, but I just decided to go with just this one. Really, really pretty. I know, I apologize again, you all are not really seeing its beauty because I'm on a white swatch wheel. And it's kind of a white, you know, you can kind of see it because it is that ivory and not just a straight white, but really really pretty that's going to be so pretty on the nails and a really nice polish if you have to have a neutral polish on somewhere that you know is a neutral with a little you know something extra to it so it's really really stunning so this one is ivory hint so that is all that I picked up from Glisten and Glow. If you picked up anything recently from Glisten and Glow, or if you have any favorites from Glisten and Glow, uh, comment them down below so I can go look them up. Um, and if you haven't tried Glisten and Glow's top coat yet, I would highly recommend it. It is just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, I think Glisten and Glow and Sweet and Sour Lacquer make the best top coats, in my opinion. I haven't tried them all, so I can't comment on every one, but those are just my two favorites. But let me know if you have any great finds from Glisten and Glow. And if you like these type of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do nail content all the time. And I also do monthly giveaways of nail polish to subscribers. I hope everyone has a great day. Remember, keep polishing. Bye.